Can I have my bag? Before I tell you this story, I want to tell you that my husband is the most wonderful husband. <laughs> I mean, Dave really is, he's great. The other night, you know, I, I did, the, I hosted the TBN show, and how many of you saw that maybe? Anybody here see that? Okay. Well, you know, Dave, the whole time I'm there, he's sitting over here on the sidelines for two hours. He sat there and listened to me, and I just thought later, I mean, this guy has spent 32 years listening to me <laughs> teach and preach. And the thing that's amazing is he's always engaged, he always listens, he always appears to be interested. <laughs> I mean, he really does. And uh, he never complains about it, he never gets tired of it. I mean, I've told him times, you know, you, you don't have to go, oh no, I'm going. So he does so many things right, and he takes good care of himself. He's good looking. He's easy to get along with. But <laughs> he is not much of a gift buyer. And you know, we, as we always have a tendency to go with the butt, you know, like, well, I know, but I just wish you'd buy me gifts. So I've done that whole thing, you know, it would mean a lot to me and blah, 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 you know, women like that and, you know, surprise me once in a while. Well, you know, he just don't do it. So I got mad, I got sad, I got depressed, I cried. I finally decided to let my soul go on vacation. So we recently had Valentine's Day. Now, I hinted two weeks ahead of time. <laughs> yeah, Valentine's Day is coming up. I can hardly wait to see what you get me. <laughs> and I even heard one of my kids say, now, Dad, don't forget, it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> and I'm in my one son. He plans, and he has this limousine come and pick him and his wife up, and they go out, you know, and I'm thinking, oh, <laughs> Come on, how many of you are with me? You know what I'm talking about. But I'm trying not to covet her limousine. And, you know. So we were over in another part of Florida earlier this week doing a missions conference in the TBN, preaching to church there and so on and so forth. And we were there on Valentine's Day. And <laughs> my son and... <laughs> My son and Dave played golf on Valentine's Day. And uh, so they met us about 2.30 in the afternoon and I saw my son get out of the car and he had this beautiful red shiny bag and had all kinds of pretty things in it. And I'm thinking, that's Shelly, my daughter-in-law. David has got her Valentine's, that's my son, it's named Do David. He's got her Valentine's gift. I'm thinking, Dave better have got me something. <laughs> So Dave gets out of the car <laughs> with this. <laughs> and I'm thinking, oh no. Now, I don't even eat candy. But I know it's the thought that counts. Now, this is a pharmacy bag. He went and got it at a pharmacy. <laughs> However, he did get me a nice card. Now, Dave always has said that the one thing he really likes about me is my fire. Because I've kind of got a fiery personality, you know. And uh, if I don't like it, you know it. And if you say too much, I'm going to talk back. And so. <laughs> When, I've, when Dave and I met, I was outside washing my mother's car, and this has been, you know, 40 some odd years ago, washing my mother's car, and he pulls up and tried to flirt with me, and I had a real sarcastic attitude because I'd been abused and been hurt and been mistreated by men all my life, and he says, hey, when you get finished washing that car, you want to wash mine? And I said, if you want your car washed, buddy, wash it yourself. 
And he said the thing that went off in his spirit was, that's the girl for me. Now, thank God he was a spirit-filled Christian, so we're still assuming he was led by God <laughs> because he either had to have something wrong with him or he had to be led by God. And um, um, so he, he, uh, once in a while now, you know, I'll still get kind of feisty and stirred up and he'll say, there's that old fire. I love that old fire. And he actually thinks I'm funny, you know? And so here's the card. I'll never tire of playing with fire. And on the inside, it says, as long as that fire is you. But now this is one of those song cards. So I, I'm hoping you can hear the song. It's Johnny Cash. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, down, down. <laughs> <laughs> no, you stay in your seat. We do not have time for you. I'm closing the meeting. So, I, however, did not get upset. I said, I'm on vacation. I'm grateful that I even got the pharmacy bag with the candy that I won't eat. Amen. You know, I wasn't going to say anything, but she pushed me too far. <laughs> How many of you would like to see Joyce E. Crow? <laughs> Listen, she doesn't know this, but at home, as she walks in the door, there's going to be a huge sign already up that says, Happy Belated Valentine's Day. And roses scattered throughout the house. Plus, plus two dozen roses, plus gifts scattered throughout the house. So, I figured, <laughs> I figured, I figured why why should she just eat crow in front of me? She might as well eat crow in front of all of you. <laughs> That's the only reason you did it, too. <laughs> Come on, give God praise. <laughs>